I'm so sorry. I don't know how to break this to you, Stephanie. You know the wedding dress we bought for tomorrow's wedding? I just caught news that it was apparently torn apart and ripped to shreds. Wait, what do you mean the wedding dress is torn apart? I just got a call from the wedding venue like two seconds ago, honey. They were calling me up in arms saying that the dress that you were supposed to wear for tomorrow's wedding ceremony has been torn into pieces. They even said that the dress is too torn up to be repaired at all too. It's just like foobar. What the hell? No. But then what about tomorrow's wedding? What are we supposed to do about that? We can't find another dress that quick, can we? Well, unfortunately, that's probably the only option we have left at this point. We've got to find another one. But tomorrow is literally the day of the wedding. What the hell are we supposed to do? The staff at the wedding venue told me they are working hard to find another dress for us as well. They're also going to be looking around the other wedding dress stores in the area to see if there are any that can be used in place of the torn up one. You realize that's already like half past four in the afternoon, right? There's no way you can rush that. No matter how quickly they find a replacement, there's not a chance in the world that they're going to be able to get it checked and ready for tomorrow. It needs to be adjusted and tailored to my body too. It's not like a regular dress. I can just go buy from Hot Topic, you know? Yeah, I kind of figured. I'm sorry for all this, but I think the only option we have left is to cancel the wedding outright. I don't know what else we can do. That's so unfortunate. We got so much stuff ready for tomorrow from like a year ago. How could this happen? Why the hell was the dress torn apart in the first place anyway? Did they mention any reason why the dress was messed up? Was it some kind of freak accident or something? Or was it something way more malicious? Like someone intentionally ripping it? Yeah, I don't really know anything about that yet. But I'm going to be asking them for sure. Give me a little bit. But it looks like the wedding dress venue is also in a sort of panic because they were also pretty surprised to see what happened to the wedding dress. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the wedding venue right now and see what's what. I'll take a look at the dress myself and talk to some of the managers to see what's going on. Yeah, I did it. I freaking did it. You know what this means, right? You're not gonna be able to wear that pretty little wedding dress that you picked out oh so carefully. Wait, what? I cut it up like Jack the Ripper. Honestly, it's probably a masterpiece at this point. A work of art. No one can fix it up. I'm sure you've already received news about what happened, right? You have to have heard from the wedding venue about that state of your little wedding dress is in. Wait, wait, wait. You're talking about my wedding dress. You tore it up? Wait, are you seriously telling me right now that you're the one behind all this, Becky? You did it? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you, Steph. I did it. I made my way to the wedding venue and made sure that it was irreparable. I must have gone through like four axo knives. But why? You wouldn't believe how light the security is at a wedding venue. I honestly had a more difficult time getting through a baseball game with a bottle of water. When I told them that I was just touring around different wedding venues, they had no hesitation letting me in to look around without any kind of escort. And the staff? Oh man, you chose a great venue, Stephanie. They seem to really want to help me out when it comes to choosing my venue. I didn't even have to say anything about the dress at all. They just showed me out of the blue. No questions asked. They said, this is the dress that we are planning on using tomorrow. We offer many dresses like this. How perfect could things be? It's like you wanted me to tear up your dress. Thanks to them, I had no issues cutting it up to my heart's content. You should honestly be more upset for the security than me. They could have done better protecting your valuable little dress. You're seriously the worst. How could you do this to me? No, seriously. I want you to tell me why you thought this was an acceptable thing to do to me. Why? You realize that tomorrow is literally our special wedding day, right? The day that we set in stone and I've been planning for over a year now? Oh, come on, Steph. You can't seriously tell me that you don't know. 
You know why. I just don't like you. I actually despise you more than anyone I can think of. Wait, you don't like me? I can't believe that an ugly bitch like you is going to be marrying my adorable and amazing older brother. I really just don't like that you're taking him away from me, so yeah. That's why I tore up your stupid dress. I wanted to make sure that you wouldn't be able to go through with your stupid little wedding. That's why you literally snuck into the wedding venue and ruined the wedding dress? That one little reason? Because you thought that I was stealing your older brother from you? What do you mean, one little reason? It's a very important and serious reason for me to do what I did. If you were at least, like, model level pretty, then I would have been fine with it, but you're actually kinda ugly too. Like, my first time I saw you, my immediate reaction was ew. Some random average bland-ass bitch is not on the same level as my older brother. Scratch that. You two are even on the same realm or same world. You're just not good enough for me. A average and bland-ass bitch? Seriously? You remember that I've been telling you this from a long time ago, right? It's not like I've been kept this hidden from you. I said that if you want to marry my older brother, then you really needed to work harder to become a better, less average and bland woman. My older brother is seriously one of the most attractive people on the planet. You realize how proud I am of being my older brother, right? He's literally never had any period in his life where he has had no girlfriend. He's more kind than any person you will ever meet. He's literally the best older brother anyone could ever ask for. But his fiance is this ugly. And just mundane, boring woman? I just couldn't bring myself to believe what was happening. I refuse. I will not let this kind of thing happen. Not on my watch. No, sir. I really do understand how much you love your older brother and how close you were to him when you two were growing up. He's told me all about it and so have you. But you should be happy for the person that you love to be able to find his own happiness, right? That's the grown-up thing you can do for someone you love. Wait, what? You know, to you, I might be that average, mundane, boring-ass bitch, but I'm not that kind of person in his eyes. I work hard every single day to make sure that I'm a woman that is worthy of calling myself his wife. I don't just sit around and do nothing while trying to be prettier. And your brother, Todd, actually has proposed to me to marry me. Do you understand what I'm saying? No one held a gun to his head. He wants to marry me. What the hell are you talking about? What? Are you trying to say that you're just average and bland but you're loved or something? What is this, some kind of bragging? You're actually kind of gross, aren't you? You like to make sure that you're better above everyone else, huh? I didn't expect that. Wait, what? So as long as you're being loved, then nothing else matters, right? You only care about what happens to you. There's someone on the other side of that that's having to hold back so much and is lonely and sad because of you and your stupid shenanigans. But I guess you don't give a crap about that person, right? That's what you're saying? You're just selfish and don't care about others? You want me to just spend the rest of my life and my birthdays all alone with no older brother to buy me a cake. That's what you're suggesting, right? What are you talking about spending your birthdays all alone? What? Don't be coy with me, Stephanie. I see right through all your stupid lies. I know as ugly as you are, you're not a complete idiot. You know for sure what I'm talking about. You should know that I have the same exact birthday as you. So that means I would never be able to celebrate my birthday because he'd only celebrate yours. Wait, what? Hang on, are you being serious right now? Let me tell you something about my older brother. He has always celebrated my birthday more than anyone else's in this world. Everyone I knew has always been amazed at how incredible his birthday parties for me were. He would spend the whole day with his adorable younger sister because it was a once in a year event and nothing else was really important to him. But it all started to change after he started going out with your boring and bland self. He just suddenly stopped doing any and all special events for me. Why the hell do you have the same birthday as me? That's totally unfair and unjust. I don't like it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I think. I'm not sure what to say. 
But just so you know, I really didn't know about your birthday. I had no idea that we both had identical birthdays. Otherwise, I would have done better. Just so you know, Todd never talked to me about your birthday either. I don't know why he didn't tell me. You're just pissing me off when you apologize, so don't ever apologize to me again. It doesn't matter how much you apologize to me. My sad past with birthdays that I didn't spend with my adorable sweet older brother will never come back. I'm just gonna have that forever. Uh... After he started dating you, my brother just completely changed. He's not the same kind of older brother that I used to know when he was single. You've completely changed him. Before, it wasn't just birthdays either. Even during Christmas, he would hang out with his little sis to make sure she wasn't lonely. But look at what's happening now. But after he started dating you, he has just completely stopped coming with me at all. Not one time has he just come back and said, Hey, let's go somewhere together. If anything, he's just been putting all the time together on the back burner. It just doesn't work out. You realize that this year's happy birthday was just a stupid emoji that he sent through a text message, right? I didn't even get to see him this year. Oh yeah, that's because he was proposing to me on my birthday. We were all busy that time of year. Now it all makes sense. I think he was even telling me about how busy he was about the proposal too. He said that he had to get ready for all the reservations and getting all the extra things. He's never treated me like this before. Never. Only after he started dating you has he started treating me this poorly. After he started dating you, it's just been like this the whole time. He's just been pushing me off, never going out with me. He just prioritizes you instead of me and he always says that he'll deal with me another day or rain check for our special little getaways. I've been getting hurt this whole time. Don't you understand what I'm saying? That's why I decided to take it upon my own hands to make sure that your dress was torn up into pieces so that you could maybe begin to experience the kind of pain that I experienced. I know what you're saying now. I really do. I understand that you're very frustrated about the whole situation. But you do understand that there are certain things you can and can't do, right? and that what you did was definitely pretty high on the list of things you can't do? You really cannot go around tearing up wedding dresses literally the day before of the wedding. Do you realize the amount of stress this puts on us and everyone that we have invited to the wedding? Shut the hell up, Stephanie. You shut your mouth right now. That torn up dress is just an expression of the condition that my heart is currently in. Don't you understand? I want you to take a good look at that dress and really take it all in so that you and my brother can both really see how much you two have hurt me and how torn up my heart currently is. So, how was it? Did you get to take a look at your stupid torn up wedding dress in all of its pitiful glory? Yeah, the wedding staff sent me a few photos of the dress and my gosh, you've truly outdone yourself this time, haven't you? I honestly would go beyond all torn up too. This is way beyond that. You've managed to successfully turn the wedding dress into a useless drape. There's not a chance in hell that anyone is going to be able to repair that dress in time. Not with it being torn up in that condition. Aw, that's too bad. I really must have outdone myself when it came to tearing up that dress. I should honestly be rewarded for my services. I was just so into tearing up that dress and making sure that you understand how upset I was that I don't even really remember what it looked like after I was done. Okay, enough with the games. What are you going to do? You realize that the wedding ceremony tomorrow is pretty much almost impossible to go through with no thanks to your little shenanigans, right? We haven't been able to find a replacement dress yet. You know that, right? We're still looking, but I'm not very hopeful that we'll find one in time. Well, 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 I feel so sorry for you. You must be feeling so upset right now. I guess that just means that tomorrow's wedding ceremony will just have to be cancelled just like I wanted to, huh? Wow, I think I'll go grab some victory drinks. Yeah, you're right, it might be cancelled now. But if it does come down to that, you're gonna be held responsible for all of this. You understand, right? So you're gonna be okay with all of that? What? Responsible for what? There's no way in hell I would take responsibility for all of this. What makes you think I'd actually take responsibility? You know that it's your fault for ruining the dress, right? If you didn't ruin our dress like you did, 
We would be perfectly fine going through with the wedding ceremony tomorrow. You need to take responsibility because that's the normal thing to do. It's your fault that you took my older brother from me. That's why I decided to ruin it for you. If you didn't do that, then you never would have ended up with a ruined wedding. Let me put it in simpler terms then. The wedding being canceled tomorrow is all your fault. You brought this all on yourself. I have no responsibility to take for it because you brought this on yourself. Do you get it? What the actual? Oh wait, hang on. I've just thought of something. If you're going to be canceling the wedding ceremony, I have a great idea what to do in place of your stupid little ceremony. Why don't we all celebrate me getting my job offer, huh? That would be a great party to have instead of your stupid little wedding ceremony. What? What are you talking about celebrating your job offer? Oh, I guess I forgot to tell you. I was actually offered a job from my first pit company. I did an interview and they were so quick to accept me. They must have really liked me. Of course, I reported right back to my older brother. I think I told him as soon as I got the call from them, but... He said that he was going to have a celebration for me being able to find a job after you guys finished your stupid wedding. But if your wedding ceremony is going to be cancelled anyway, then we could probably go ahead and push my job offer celebration to the front of the long, right? What? Let me be real. You can't just cancel the wedding venue the day before you are scheduled to be having the wedding ceremony, right? Even I know that much. I'm sure they're already preparing all of the amazing food and presentations and whatnot, so why don't we just make sure it doesn't go to waste? Imagine all that hard work and effort just being thrown away just because of you and your stupid attempt to marry my brother. Let's just switch the celebration. We can celebrate my job offer and make sure that the job offer is the main focus of the celebration. Beck, congratulations on the job offer from Fine Midori. I'm going to be working so hard come this spring at the most incredible accessory design company in the area. Wait, what? I know that you don't want to cancel the wedding, but come on. Let's be real here. You need to get a grip if you think that wedding is still going to work. If you don't have a dress that you can wear to the wedding ceremony, you really don't have any choice but to cancel the whole wedding ceremony off, right? Honestly, you can just call off the engagement period if you want. That would be perfect. Just cancel your stupid wedding because your stupid dress was torn up to pieces and call off your stupid engagement because my older brother deserves a not so stupid bride. Okay then, I'll tell you what else we're gonna have canceled. Your job offer. Wait, what? I really did not expect this kind of coincidence to ever happen in real life, but who knew, huh? Whatever, I have to call the wedding venue and let them know that we're not gonna be able to go through with the wedding. You're exactly right, Becky. We're not going to be able to go through with the wedding ceremony unless we have a wedding dress that I can wear to the wedding. After that, we have to contact the HR guys over at the company and let them know ASAP about what's going on. You have to be removed from all of the new and incoming new hires list because you will not be getting a job offer from that company. What? Removed? What are you talking about? Why are you rambling on about canceling the job offer and removing me from the list of new hires? Is it because I managed to piss you off by ruining your wedding dress and forcing you to cancel your wedding? You actually have no authority to do anything about my job offer. Once they send out the job offers, there's nothing that anyone can do to just take it back. Actually, I am exactly the person that can do something about that. I'm the CEO of Fine Midori. You probably won't believe me, but... What? You're the... You're the CEO? You really should have wisened up there, moron. You should probably remember the name of the CEO of the company that you wanted to work for. It's really not that big of a company at all. It's fairly small scale, so I thought I knew all of the employees. Wait, hold on. I guess it's on me too, huh? I should have been more careful to pick and choose which new hires we should hire for every season. I just let the HR guys handle all of it. I mean, I guess since I'm the business owner here, I should at least make sure to glance through the applications to see who I'm hiring, huh? What? Wait, what? Hang on just a second. What? What the hell are you talking about? Are you being dead serious right now? Is the company that I got a job offer from seriously the company that you're the president of? There's no way, right? I'm sorry. But if you don't believe me, there's an easy way to find out. 
Just Google it yourself on the internet and you'll be able to find everything you need all on there. I'm not going to be able to hold your hand through this one because I'm in the middle of talking to my HR department while trying to cancel the wedding ceremony at the same time. Alrighty, we'll talk again later, Becky. By the way, you're not off the hook with the wedding ceremony either. You're going to have to take full responsibility for canceling my wedding ceremony. Stephanie, I am so sorry for my stupid bratty sister. I'm seriously beyond words right now. I actually just heard your voicemail. I cannot believe that Becky would do such a thing to my own fiancé's dress. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Stephanie. It's okay, Todd. It's really not something you need to be apologizing for. Actually, I'm curious. Anyway, were you able to listen to the voicemail from start to finish? I want to call off the wedding, so I was really hoping that you would be able to go ahead and contact the people over at the venue. Just let them know we weren't able to find a dress in time so we can't go through. While you're handling that side, I'm going to be calling up all of the relatives on both of our sides to tell them that the wedding is going to be cancelled tomorrow. Wait, hold on just a second, Stephanie. Hold that thought. About the wedding ceremony. Can you give me just a little bit more time so that we can see about maybe salvaging it? Just give me a little time. I really think I might have found a really nice dress for you to be able to wear tomorrow. I need to check the sizes and they're still checking the availability, but yeah. What? You think you might have found a replacement dress for me? Where in the world did you find that? Yeah, the people at the wedding venue worked really hard to gather as many different choices as they could for us. And then we all go together to try to see if there were any dresses that might be good for you. And I spent about half of the day just looking at different wedding dresses with the people over there. I found one dress that I really feel would look amazing on you. And I think you'll love it. It's very similar to our original dress, but dare I say, it might even be fancier than that one. I think the size is also pretty much spot on too, so there really shouldn't be any kind of extra adjustments necessary, you know? You should just be able to look at it and wear it tomorrow without having to try it on and get it fitted or anything. Wait, are you being serious right now? Yeah, I'm being nothing but serious. So if possible, I want you to come by the wedding venue right away. Is that possible? Come by so that we can have you try on the dress and check on the size of the dress. Uh, make sure there are no hiccups there. I really don't want to give up on tomorrow's wedding, Steph. I've been looking forward to this day for far too long. Thank you so much, Todd. Oh my gosh! I'll be heading over there right away. The design is seriously incredible, and it's just fancier than anything I could imagine, so I really think that you'll love the dress. Just let me know when you get there, okay? And like I said, I kind of feel bad for the dress that got torn up to bits, but if anything, I personally like this one better than the last one. I'm sure you'd look good in both, but I think I'm going to go as far as to say that it was some kind of miracle or destiny for all of this to happen so that we could stumble upon this dress. That's how pretty this dress really is. Well, now you've got my hopes up, Todd. I really hope this dress is all that you say it is, because I'm excited now. Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit, sweetie. I'll call a cab right away and ask the driver to ignore as many lights as he can. You really did it, you stupid bitch! You went on and cancelled my job offer, didn't you? And you're telling me that you're gonna be having your stupid wedding now? Screw you, you moron! I want you to let me into the wedding venue right this second. Stephanie, I know you're reading this. I can't believe you're actually trying to get in right now. I'm not going to let you in, Becky. There's no chance. You're a dangerous person that is willing to get violent, as is evident with a torn up wedding dress. Honestly, I feel like you might try to come to tear my new one up after you found out about me canceling your job offer. How are you feeling about that, by the way? If that's what you're thinking right now, then you need to cancel the cancellation of the job offer right now. Do you hear me? That was my job that I wanted to get into the most. How could you do that to me? You don't understand what you've done to me. 
I want you to know that I've already canceled and turned down all of the other job offers, right? I literally have no other job leads anymore. And then you're gonna sit here and tell me that you're gonna cancel my job offer like this last second? Don't you pull this shit on me. Yeah, you can bitch and moan all you like, but I'm telling you right now, neither I or any of my employees would want to work with someone like you. And just so you know, what happens in my company is something that I can decide on my own. I'm going to decide who I have working here without anyone telling me otherwise. Y you realize this is illegal, right? You're just breaking all of the laws to do this to me. Just because you're the president doesn't mean you can take away job offers willy-nilly. I know my rights, and I'm telling you that this is not within your rights. If you don't undo this right, right this second, then I'm gonna be sure that everyone knows about your wrongdoings. Are you sure you're okay with that? Are you sure you can walk that walk? Or are you just spewing nonsense? If you're just saying random things that pop into your head, I want you to keep it to yourself because you're not gonna scare me into keeping you around my company. What? You're a CEO of a whole company and you don't even know about regular labor laws? Wow, you're way more stupid than I thought. When a company formally offers a job position to a potential employee, you've already signed away your right to take away that job offer. We've already signed a contract, essentially. You can't just cancel the job offer on your end. It's literally against the law. Haven't you picked up a newspaper? You have to have put a really good reason, or you really just can't rescind someone's job offer. And believe me, you don't have any legal viable reason to take away my job offer right now. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know about what is within my legal rights. Now I know I'm doing the right thing. I have something that happened that I personally believe is going to be legally justifiable and certificable to be called a good reason to rescind your job offer. I don't know, maybe. The applicant is being arrested so we have decided to rescind the job offer. I'm no lawyer, but I'm pretty sure if the applicant becomes a criminal, then it would be completely acceptable for the company to rescind any kind of job offer. What the hell did you just say? What are you talking about? Well, we actually just finished the wedding ceremony a little while ago. I've just been talking to all of my legal team and seen what to do. They suggested that I talk with the wedding venue since technically they're the legal victims here. You destroyed their property. So they were talking to Todd about what to do and... I'm sorry to tell you, but the wedding venue people have said that they want to go to the police and report everything you've done. And just so you know, Todd also specifically asked them to file as many charges against you as they possibly could, and I quote, put her away as long as possible. Oh, and I took the liberty of screenshotting all of our text messages and sending them over to Todd so that he could hand over all the messages to the wedding venue as evidence. What? Just so you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to be filing charges against you real soon. You know what comes right after this? The police are going to be paying you a nice little visit. I don't think it'll take them that long. You're going to have to take in taking responsibility for all of the things that you've done this time around. I don't think you'll have a choice. You'll be way too busy dealing with the legal battle that you're not going to be able to handle trying to find a new job either. If anything, you should be thanking me that you'll be able to focus on your legal issues now. Wait, you're lying. My brother would never do such a thing to me. Are you being serious? Th the police? You're getting the police involved in all of this mess? I'm pretty sure this is all way too much, don't you think? All I did was just make a simple modification by using a knife to your dress. It was just one little dress. What the hell? Dude, just use your common sense. It's literally vandalism. You destroyed their property. If it was just a dress that I had bought and had the wedding venue hang on to, that's just against me and mine. But the dress that you decided to go full Jack the Ripper on? Yeah, that dress was the wedding venue's property, so that's not really in my control, is it? Y yeah but think about it. It's literally just a single dress. It's not that big of a deal, don't you think? I can't believe that this is what would get blown out of proportion. How would the police get involved in this mess? It's not even my fault if you think about it. 
the wedding venue management should have really be rethinking their security. If anything, I should be thanked for finding flaws in their security. Hold on. Explain that thought to me, Becky. B because if the management over at the wedding venue made sure to check my possessions and whatnot, th then I never would have been able to cut up the wedding dress at all. They really need to revamp their security. The security and the management both at the venue were way too easygoing. They really brought this upon themselves. If anything, you're the one that needs to be taking full responsibility for everything that happened. You're the one that takes the most responsibility for all of this. If you hadn't tried to marry my older brother, then none of this would have happened. My brother would still love me and you'd still be happy. You know that what the wedding venue would have? They would have a perfect dress for the next person who wanted to use it. I never would have touched the dress if it wasn't for you. Hey Becky, what the hell? Are you being serious right now? You really believe all that toxic shit you just texted? Huh? You aren't at all at fault for cutting up and tearing up the dress that the wedding venue owned? The people who are most responsible are the management at the wedding venue who didn't take their security serious and Stephanie for making you want to cut up the dress in the first place? Tell me, Becky, I want to know, are you seriously thinking that? I need to know how insane you are. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. What's going on? Wait, am I talking to Stephanie right now? Or is this Todd? Okay, so what? It's your older brother texting. Explain to me how that changes anything you said. Are you going to suddenly accept everything and start rethinking your choices if you find out it was me? Oh, uh, no, uh... So, let's get back to the topic at hand. I want to know if what you said earlier was your honest-to-God opinion that you believe in, or if you're just being emotional or something. Oh, and depending on how you answer this question, I'm going to start considering cutting off all ties with you for the foreseeable future. What? Are you serious? All ties? Yeah, no shit! Are you kidding me? I know that there is a lot less time that we get to spend with each other after I started going out with Stephanie. I'm not an idiot. I know that we spent more time before, but that's pretty normal considering we're both fairly old now, right? We're not kids anymore. It's totally normal. But then you had to go and do this crap. You're calling my fiance ugly and not good enough for me? Honestly, did you even say a single word or phrase that wasn't toxic? And on top of that, you lose your shit and start cutting up the dress that we were going to use for the wedding? You're insane! I don't want that kind of shitty person to be my younger sister. I don't want anyone like that in my life. Wait, hang on just a second, Todd. Don't just freak out on me like that, okay? Calm down! I don't want to hear you tell me that you don't want me like that. You have no idea how much pain I've been in. I was just a little sad, you know? I missed my older brother, and I missed all the nice little getaways we had together. So if you're just a little sad, then you're allowed to break several laws and go crazy? Cut up a several thousand dollar dress? It's not even your dress, it's someone else's. You're going to be forgiven just because you're a little sad when you've broken so many people's hearts <sighs> after they put their heart and soul into it. Uh, I mean, when you put it that way... I'm done. I'm going to call off this relationship with you starting today. Don't ever expect to talk to me ever again. I've already told our parents what's going on and what's going to happen. I told them that they need to cut off ties with you too and they've been totally okay with me cutting ties with you. You bet your ass that Stephanie, who was once on your side, is okay with it too. I don't like this, Todd. Don't say that! I don't want you to not like me anymore. You're my beloved and incredible older brother. I don't want you to just cut ties with me. You're gonna make me sad. I'll make sure that I formally apologize to Stephanie. I'll write a note and everything. I swear. I'll even go as far as making a formal apology to the wedding venue people and I'll make sure that I pay for all the damage that I have caused. Please forgive me. Are you some kind of stupid Becky? You're going to apologize to everyone who is involved in this and pay for the damages regardless of what I do. And here you are saying that you want to use that as a reason for me not to break all communication with you? How greedy are you? You really think that'll work? But, 
But Todd... Listen to me, Becky. From now on, you're going to spend a lot of time alone and think about everything that you've ever done. You're going to feel the guilt and take it all in. The dress costs a pretty penny too, by the way. It's not just a walk in the park. Expect to pay up several thousand dollars. You better pay the whole thing in full and then some too. You really need to feel the full extent of how much damage you've caused to people. You're kidding me, right? Hang on. You're not telling me that a wedding dress is really that expensive. I thought it was like a couple hundred bucks or something. You really didn't know? Just educate yourself. Most wedding dresses are going to cost you several tens of thousands of dollars. They're all over the place. What? A lot of people wear the same dress over and over, and that's the only reason that the dress is able to be rented out for a reasonable amount by your average person. <sighs> Lucky for you, though, our dress was special, so our rental was more closer to several thousand dollars. You're lying. You are so making this all up to mess with me, right? Hang on, how much am I going to be sued for? Tell me, Todd! No, I'm not going to tell you shit, Becky. Why the hell would I know how much the wedding venue is going to sue you for? Also, just so you know, our parents and I are definitely not going to help you out at all. You're going to pay for it all on your own. You have to wipe your own ass going forward. Do you understand me? You better start going back to the basics before you start working for someone and earning pay because you're not going anywhere in life at this rate. <laughs> Becky was begging for forgiveness to the wedding venue and she promised to pay back the wedding dress fees and they were able to settle out of court. However, the settlement, which included the fees necessary for paying for the dress, was north of $80,000. She was going to be in debt for a while. She ran around like a child with her head cut off to various loaning companies to try and pay off all of her payments because otherwise, she would have been sent to jail. After she graduated college, she was chased out of her parents' house immediately. So she had to fend for herself. She works day and night to try and pay off her loans. Apparently, she doesn't even have enough money to pay for clothes to wear to work. So, she's asking her friends to give her their hand-me-downs. She cuts the hand-me-downs and sews them together to try and make them fit because they're all kinds of shit.